Okay, so we have the project spot the difference. As you guys know, I have already set up uh, the file. I showed you guys this before. So basically, I had an image that I had uh, init initially started with, and then I added other components. If I click on this, if I get really close to here, you're going to get really close into this little item right here. You'll notice I put a baseball bat in here. All right. After the baseball bat, as we back out, you can hit Alt and I'll back out a little bit. As we back out, um, just as we back out, I want to be able to see the whole entire image. Um, another thing that I did is right over here, I put the flag over here. So if you click on here, you're going to notice the flag is there. And then also I put a donut in the donut clock right here. And then one last thing is I added, uh, took away a picture, and I added an image in the frame over here. And one last thing is a blue tile. I opened up Microsoft Word, and I made a key. I made the baseball bat, the donut clock, the flag, the window scene, picture frame, and the blue uh, tile. And I call it Spot the Difference. All right, so you're going to do this in Microsoft Word. Here's how you do this. You're going to go to a, a new Word document, okay? We're going to center it, and we're going to call it Spot the Difference. After you call it Spot the Difference, well, I would like the Spot the Difference to be, this can be Arial Font 20, no problem. Come into here, and we're going to go into Arial. We're going to make the font 20, and we'll make it Arial, which is right here. Arial, Spot the Difference, and we're going to bold it. There you got it. Now, let's go down a little bit. Let's go flush left. We're going to call this over here. Um, you're going to call it um, hidden objects. You can call it locate hidden objects or um, hidden objects. So let's hit copy. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to do that, actually. I just want to show you guys how to make this from scratch. I'm going to call this hidden objects. I will take the hidden objects. I will make the spot the difference one bigger. <clears throat> I will make the bigger one up to like a 26. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. I'll make it like to a 36. Spot the difference. Hidden objects can be a size 20. That's fine. I'm going to make it like this. Uh, you know, a little, uh, you know, the two dots. And now underneath on the bottom, um, here's where you're going to make the bulleted list of items that are hidden objects. In this case, it's a baseball bat and a donut clock. So if I come into here, look, here is my donut clock right here. Donut clock. And then you have the flag, as you saw the baseball bat, which is over here. You can get close to that. There's the bat. Not to overkill it, just to show you guys again. Let me back out again, control zero. And then when I take this away, you see the images and the pictures right there, right? All right, so now as we're here, let's get back to it. Um, the two items that I had was a baseball bat and a donut clock. No problem. So let's get into here. Let's call it baseball bat baseball bat we'll enter and we'll go donut clock these are hidden objects that I've put into here we're not going to bold these and these are going to be about a size 16 I'm now going to highlight these and you can bullet this so now I have it bulleted I'm going to press enter and come down a little bit I'm going to get now these are not going to be hidden objects these are going to be changes locate changes okay so we'll go into here and we will put control v is paste and you can call this now locate changes um locate changes now we have the changes these are going to be 16 font uh changes okay sorry spelling error all right so we'll call it locate changes and after we've gone into there, we are going to go into here. And we have a flag, a window scene, as you've noticed, a picture frame, which moved, and a blue tile. I don't mention the blue tile much. The blue tile is right here. Where is my blue tile? Oh, I can't see it because it's blocked by my levels. So, at my layers, rather. If I come in here, there's the blue tile, guys. So, I have the blue tile. All right? It's right there. So, there's the blue tile. The donut clock is right up there. The flag is right over here. And the baseball bat also 
before the baseball bat, the window scene has changed and the picture frame is gone right here. And the baseball bat is right there as we've seen it right there. There it is and we'll back out. Now let's go back into the document and list these things. So we know the hidden objects are there. The changes were once again, flag, window scene, picture frame. Okay, we'll come into here, 16 font, flag, locate the, I believe I changed the flag. Uh, the changes, one is a flag. Then we have the window scene, window, window scene has changed. There was another change that I had, the window scene, the picture frame and the blue tile. All right, let's get it. So uh, picture frame, picture frame and the blue tile. No problem. Let's highlight these. Let's unbold them and they are a size 16. We're going to highlight them and we're going to make them a bulleted list. So now I have a key. I am now going to do one last thing. In Photoshop, I'm going to go to my original image. This is the original, unchanged at all. I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As. <clears throat> We're going to export it as a JPEG. The size is fine. We're going to click Export. I am going to save this on my desktop. It's inside my 2324 in my videos file. You guys have a spot the difference folder in your graphic design files that I've taught you how to save. You're going to call this spot the difference dash original. And you're going to hit save. Now I'm going to bring up all the changes. And I'm going to go to file, export, export as. And I'm going to call this export as a JPEG. We will call this one changes. So spot the difference changes all in my 2024 videos folder, right? I'll call, I'll save it. Now check it out. Here's the deal. You guys now can do this to spot the difference. You're going to go to insert in Microsoft Word and you guys are certified in Word so you should know how to do this stuff. You're going to go to picture from this device, I have it on my desktop inside my folder for um, my videos. Spot the difference. I'm going to go to original first. I'm going to insert it. I'm now going to take this thing, this image, click on the layout options, and I'm going to put it in front of text. Move in front of text. Boom, right here. I'm now going to shrink it. And I could put this file right up here. I can make it as big as possible. You know why? because now you can print this. You can now print this and use this as an exercise that you can use for printing purposes. So now we have this here. I'm now going to take this image, which is perfectly fine, and that's awesome. Now, next order of business, I'm going to put the modified one directly under it. In Photoshop, I am now going to go into the, um, oh, I'm sorry, not in Photoshop, my bad. Inside this one, I'm going to go to insert picture and we're going to go to this device and now I'm going to put the changes one insert boom. There it is. I want to wrap it in front of the text. I'm going to shrink it. Now check this out. As long as you keep these in proportion, the length and width will always be the same. And here's proof of that because you didn't change much of anything. So put this one directly under it. And what you've just done is now. You have created a spot the difference with the hidden objects. You have the baseball bat in here. You know, you have the donut clock right here. The flag, the window scene has changed. The picture frame is moved and it was over here. And the blue tile, which is right there. All right, now we're going to save this. You're going to go to File, Save As. You're going to save this inside the same folder. In my case, it's on my desktop. It's called Spot the Difference. And you're going to call this image, this file, Spot the Difference. Just call it a Word document. That's all. Spot the Difference. And you're going to hit Save. So that's the Word document. And then lastly, you go to File, Save As, Browse. You're going to now make it a PDF. And now you have a Spot the Difference PDF. You can hit Save. And now what you have just done is... We can get out of this. 
I can get out of Photoshop. I can get out of everything. I can go directly to my Spot the Difference folder. Go in here. Go into Spot the Difference. And look at this. Look at all these resources you just made. You have the changes in the original. You have the raw Photoshop file from the first video. And you have a PDF. All right? And now everything is all set. Ignore this. This is just a video I made as this tutorial. So once again, when I open this up, boom. Now you could print this for, well, a lesson plan or even for uh, fun with friends and family. And that's really it. So enjoy this and thank you.